What's up? Hi, welcome. Welcome back to the vlog. Hello, hello. So if you've been following the past couple of days, you'll know that it's really sunny here in Wales right now. I'm trying to make the most of it. Look at that. This is a place called Betusakoid. Betusakoid. It's one of my favorite little woodlands. Keep taking photos, it's like really, really picturesque today. Look at all those colors. Even looks good on the GoPro. We got the big jasp out today. So come, join us as we wander through the forest and try and find some peace in our mind today. What I hope to achieve with these videos is that I can inspire people to get out, go get outside. Even when you don't feel like it, just do it anyway. Do it every day. It helps. Last time I was in these woods, I was camping. It was nice. It was a nice time. It's been a few months since that, like five months now. The weather's actually really nice again. I would like to go camping again. The only issue is I can't continue the daily vlog if I'm camping. So I'm gonna try and push the daily vlog to day 100 and then just go nuts, go off grid for a while, go camping a lot, make up for all the nights that I wish I was in nature. I'm on day 320 of being sober from all the drugs. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Originally when I stopped, I didn't really have a goal in mind. And then six months rolled by and I realized maybe I should set a goal so that I actually have something to push for. And that gives me more of an incentive to not relapse. The amount of times I've wanted to relapse, so many, countless times. But I'm very goal driven. When I have a fun goal to push for, that's all I think about, so. Nearly there, 40, 45 more days, less than two months. Still really fatigued and physically drained from the hike a couple days ago, two days ago. Really gets me. It was a hard hike. I kind of underplayed it in the video, but I was struggling. So yeah, if the next few vlogs I'm just taking it easy, that's why <laughs> I'm trying to recover. There's a bridge over there. That bridge fell down a couple years ago and they've finally repaired it. So now I can actually cross over. Usually I always hike this side because it's obviously missing a bridge. Come on, Jas. Yes. What's up? What's up? What's up? Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. Go. Nice new bridge. I think the last one got destroyed by floods. Nice 
nice little camping spot right here, flat ground. Whenever I'm out, I'm always looking for camping spots, not, not intentionally, just, I don't know, unintentionally looking for camping spots all the time. I guess when you spent a few weeks outside, then you just kind of get in that mindset. It doesn't really go away. <laughs> so I'm always marking them on my Google Maps. I got so many good ones now. I like water, running water, protection from trees. Like that one's super hidden, no one would ever know you were there. Nice little stealthy camp. I've never walked on this side of the river, but I'm feeling kinda, kinda faint. So I wanna find a nice sunny spot. I'm just lay in the sun and eat some lunch. I actually brought lunch with me today. That never happens, <laughs> I never do that. Yeah, I feel good today. Um, I appreciate everybody asking me how I'm doing all the time. It's a difficult question to answer because I'm not where I need to be, but I'm enjoying the present moment. <laughs> so I'm kind of in this uneasy middle ground where I'm okay, but I'm not okay. If that makes sense, that's my answer when everybody asks me. But I never really know how to express that. This forest is one of the, one of the oldest in the area. One of the largest too. But every time I come here, there's more and more of it being deforested. And instead of ignoring it anymore, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys just so I can document it for myself and watch the progression as, as corporate greed takes over the world. I haven't really come across any new bits yet, um, I, but I did walk past the old part that's been deforested. This path is really nice, sorry, I get so dark all the time. These trees are completely covered in moss. Wow. Let me get up close so you guys can see. The moss has truly taken over. Look at that. <laughs> My home. My people. <laughs> The trail is really cute, but I've been in the shade the whole time. I need to get up in the sun. Whoa, look at this. It's a queen tree. Whoa. Look at this fur coat that I have. It's really nice to squish. Looks like somebody's been repairing it. I think I'll we'll cross over in a minute, go to the other side, walk in the sun. All right, I'm on a like a family Zoom call down here. Like my whole family is there, and uh, I'm in the middle of crossing a river, so I need to cross the river, get in the woods, and then I can hear them properly. I can't hear what they're saying because I'm by a river. So yeah, I'm gonna cross this. was a challenge. <laughs> we had to cross the river. I had to cross it twice because I filmed it. And then came up this bank, really steep bank. Now I'm in this part of the woods. <sighs> I'm still in my family Zoom call as well.
funny. I'm, I'm still in, in the Zoom call, but I have to like hold it up to my ear because I haven't got any headphones. So they can't hear me, but I'm like listening to the conversation and filming my walk. <laughs> like they can just see where I am right, right now. I'm the only one that's like outside. So I, I said I would join and I'm, I'm here, but I'm just like preoccupied. Hey, if anyone in the fam is watching this, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I keep busy, you know, I don't sit, sit I don't sit still for too long. But I'm still here, I still care. It's just such a nice little trail. I've never tried this before, I've never been down this far across the river. Usually I go into the woods. For some reason the, the sound of the river is more appealing to me than a bit of sunshine in the woods. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. I'm just just focusing on this conversation with my fam. It's so nice in here, but I came off the little path that I was on and I kind of want to go back on it. My feet hurt. It looks really nice to swim in. I want to swim so bad. It's like a natural bubble bath. So I managed to get a really nice uh, OnlyFans picture. Uh, the shots here, see, so aim, aiming towards that little rock there. So I have 10 seconds to press the press the button, run down these rocks, jump on there, jump on there. I think I got it there. All right, I'm just going to go back in the woods now. Look how nice and inviting that is. Danger old mine. Where the heck is the mine? <laughs> I feel so small. Look at these giants. These aren't particularly large trees either. They're just tall. Like they're not old. But they're just towering over me. I feel so small. It's funny, I'll bring my really heavy camera with me every day. And I only usually film one clip with it. <laughs> it's just, is it worth it? <laughs> No, I think it's worth it just because the quality of that one clip is just really nice. But you can never really beat run and gun, handheld. It's my favorite way to vlog. It's so easy, so lightweight. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. They've, uh, they've cut this forest, this patch of it for the forest, for seemingly no reason. And they even left some of the wood. It's just if they'll do that and get away with it, they'll keep doing it. It doesn't really stop. They'll take every tree until they're dead. I mean, until the humans are dead. Just profit forever. It feels strange being back here. Been here so many times though. Many, many years I've been coming here. I can't call it my favorite anymore because as soon as people come and destroy it, it loses that magic. When it was untouched by humans, then it was nice. That was my favorite time. But that's the thing, because of humans, everything's changing rapidly. Like look, they've ruined all the moss. Just drive the machines through, do not care. It's meant to be like this. Meant to be all spongy, nice. This moss stuff is so comfortable to camp on. Uh, it was like the last place that Poppy and I camped when she was over here, and it's so so comfy. Yippee! Yippee! Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, if you ever get the chance, if you ever find a carpet of moss, go sleep on it. It's very comfy. Ah, oh, it's so nice. Mm, yeah, I'm dissolving. Oh, screw it, I'm going in. Consume me! <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks for the shower. Yeah, we 
love moss. We love moss. Mm. Oh, it's so comfy. This beats any bed, any rug. This is just, just the best. It feels like a sensory deprivation because you, you don't feel anything hard. You're being completely cushioned by the moss. <laughs> so this is a beautiful clip that has no audio. For some reason the GoPro didn't record the audio for this. This kind of happens every day, sometimes it's small clips, but this was four minutes of me talking and you'll never get to hear it, sorry. I was trying to figure out what trees I was surrounded by, because I've got this new book, The Collins British Tree Guide, and I'm trying to learn, and I think I came to the conclusion that this one is a silver, a European silver fir. So if anyone can confirm that what I'm surrounded by is silver firs, please tell me. It's the best I could do. I think I got it right. Uh, but it's just a shame you don't get to hear me talk about it. I'm trying not to get sentimental, but I, I found the spot that we camped last time. <laughs> Poppy and I were here. This is our spot. This is our dinner table. Aww. Oh man. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Let's get back on. Yeah, I recommend it guys. If you ever get the chance, go camp in the moss. It's very nice. And fir trees are particularly safe to camp under because they don't have really they don't have any branches that can fall. Oh yeah, you'll be totally fine. Unless you get really unlucky and camp in a storm and a tree comes down. But that's very unlikely to happen. I really enjoy being outside for a really late because all the tourists are gone. Like, there's no one here anymore. <laughs> I wonder why that is, I guess. They've probably been out all day and they get hungry. Because I come out later, I get hungrier later. I don't know, it's just nice having, having nature to yourself. Something about it. I suppose if I came out earlier in the day, like 6, 7 a.m., I'd probably have it to myself then as well. share some thoughts I'm having right now. So the trees, British trees die pretty easily without human intervention. They just die, they run their course and they die. And then I'm thinking about the redwood trees in North America. Why do they last so long? I don't think redwoods die. I think the only way they could get taken out is by human intervention. A lot of them were wiped out back in the old days for money. But I don't think they just die naturally. Whereas every other tree dies naturally. It either gets too big and falls over, or it rots, or the ground beneath it crumbles. Like, there's loads of reasons trees die, but I don't think the redwoods do die. There's no such thing as too big until a piece snaps off and has to grow it back, but... Yeah, I don't know. Why do, why do trees die? Human intervention, disease, I don't know, natural disasters. Oh, this one died because it fell over. That's because it was growing on a bank. Why are the British trees so flimsy? <laughs> Why are they so flimsy? I understand the conditions are kind of perfect for the giant sequoias and the redwoods. That's why they get so big. But what about everything else? Why doesn't everything else get so big? Fortnite has had an update that it's now uh, chapter 3, season 2. We've moved on. This is the 20th season of Fortnite. Pretty crazy. Yeah, the update happened in the early hours of the morning, but usually when a new season arrives, the servers are overloaded by people, so there's not much hope of actually getting online. But I think I'll, I'll give it a go later tonight, might, might stream it, get my first impressions of the new season. Get our first win, etc. Quite excited. Alright, I'm home. I had a shower. Now I'm streaming. 
my two. I'm trying out the new Fortnite season. It's here. Gonna do it. I don't usually stream Fortnite anymore. I mostly just, well, I just stream Minecraft because I enjoy that. But I want to get my first impressions of the season. See what it's like. Oh gosh, it's gonna read out Pimple text speech. Grainy e donated one dollar. People also ask, is it normal to have a migraine five days in a row? How do you know when a migraine is serious? What do the migraine feel like? What happens if migraines are left untreated? Can I like Chat! Bad timing, bad timing, bad timing. Yes, let's go! <laughs> Why would you do text of speech right in the last fight? Well that was fun. I assumed for an hour and a half, got my first win. Uh it's it's weird. The game's weird. I don't know if I like it. Uh, but I don't, that that desire to play Fortnite isn't inside of me anymore. I don't really have fun in there. But it's nice to try it. Um, I'll maybe come back to it one day, but I think I'm going to stick to just Minecraft streams. They're much more relaxing, more engaging. Because um, when I'm playing Fortnite, I'm just focused on Fortnite. I'm not looking at the chat. And it's just, there's not the best game to stream. I had the discipline just to just turn the stream off. I said goodbye and I left. I only did an hour and a half. Usually my streams go for like four hours. But I know that today's vlog is long. I need to eat. So let's go do that. I try to not do things that will get turned into gifts because you guys on Discord are being silly. I'm going to bed. Toodaloo. <laughs>